Daopia and Garmin are bringing lower cost avionics to certificated aircraft. We work with the FAA to get approval to install the Garmin G5 in more than 500 single engine makes and models. The electronic attitude indicator has been popular with the experimental crowd. Now owners of legacy aircraft can replace the old vacuum AI with a cost effective modern unit. Here's more from AOPA Live's Natasha Stenbach. Nothing should surprise me anymore about how much it costs to run an airplane. Jill Tallman owns a 1968 Piper Cherokee 140. She's all too familiar with the needs of an older airplane. You're in a constant battle to replace things that are wearing out. I just recently had to replace the attitude indicator in my airplane. Jill had to replace it with FAA approved equipment, which up until recently meant a major hit to the pocketbook. I understand there, there are rules and regulations, but it is a burden and it's, a, and it's, it's preventing us, you know, as a, as, a, as a small aircraft owner to go ahead and make that purchase at this point. Change with the FAA is sometimes difficult, but we met with the administrator about a year and a half ago. We laid out, here's what the fleet looks like, average 45 years old. And I think he was even surprised to know that about a quarter of our general aviation airplanes out there are worth less than $40,000. So you're an aircraft owner, but your airplane is nearly 40 years old. So how would you update your avionics panel without spending more than your airplane is worth? Oh, it's incredible. I mean, I, I think we, our quotes that we've already gotten for, for some of the equipments were in the $20,000 range for a two-axis autopilot. But there is a lot of great equipment at reasonable prices for experimentals. AOPA has been working with the FAA to find a way to make this non-TSO equipment available for certificated aircraft. And now, aircraft owners like Jill and Kurt can give their planes a little facelift at about a third of the cost. These are highly effective instruments and they cost less and they're fairly easy to install. It's a great opportunity for airplane owners such as myself. Garmin produced an electronic attitude indicator called the G5, which is non-TSO equipment, but with reconsideration by the FAA, pilots can take advantage of this relatively inexpensive safety equipment. Technically, we actually do have a, uh, a certification on G5 now. It's not a TSO certification, it's actually an STC certification. So we've been able to take this part that previously was not certified. It still does not have a TSO, Technical Standard Order certification, but it basically has been uh, blessed by the FAA and says, yes, this part actually is now certified to go in this range of aircraft. One of the things that we hope this does, we know it will stimulate lots of innovation because some of these testings that go on for these electronics or other devices are really made to airline standards. And we're a non-commercial, private use kind of thing that we know the standard should be is at least as good as or better than the 1953 radio that was in the other aircraft or the 1951 you know, fuel gauge. By being able to eliminate uh, some of those burdens through testing and through paperwork, we're able to much more quickly bring a product to market at a much more affordable price. At AirVenture, Natasha Stenbach, AOPA Live. Thanks, Natasha. As we mentioned, the G5 is in your sweepstakes 172. We have more cost-saving ideas going into that airplane. We'll have more on that later this week.